Hi everyone. I just want to do a quick run through on Skype here because I think some people are really confused. I know I was when I first downloaded Skype. What you do here is you go to Skype, Profile, and edit your profile. This is the first place to start. I recommend that you use your real name and that you get a picture because this is a way of branding yourself. As you start meeting people, they want to see what you look like. They don't want to see some scenery picture in here. They want to see you. Okay? Then you just click update and that will put your picture here. The other thing I want to show you is this is probably one of the more important things on the Skype window here because everyone sees this. Now what I've done is I've added my blog because this is where I want everyone to go and um, that way they can see more about me, learn about me, read about some of the things that I do if they don't know me that well yet. Okay, see how that, and it, sorry it took it so long to load up. I should have cleaned my cookies before I started this recording. Now the other thing is contacts. How do you get all of these contacts? Well, you meet with people, you find out if they're on Skype, and then you just add them. You go to contacts, new contact. Now what I want you to do is from the family networker, here's Craig and I's IDs. Okay, so you just click on that, copy, go back to Skype, into this add contact, you just paste in there and find. And you will find here's exactly what we put in. So this is the Craig that we want. And I'm telling you, if you got a common name, uh, John Smith there will be lots of John Smith so it's going to be hard to find the right one add contact and I can't add him again because he's already in my contact list but it will show then Craig over here in your contact list after you have added him okay then the next thing you knew is this is I think is probably one of the more important things if you see this red it means do not disturb okay and the reason people do that is like I'm doing right now if I'm recording a video I don't want a lot of interruptions and I can't answer a bunch of calls when I'm doing a recording like this so if they're online and you got a green that means go red means stop now also when you're online here too when you've got people and you want to go to their page and you want to call them come down here and ask first go Carol you got a minute can I call you this is just common courtesy you don't want someone just walking in your front door and going hi I'm here um, you need to knock first and I think this is the way of knocking at Skype before you just up and call them because sometimes and I know with me, I'm in the middle of writing an article or I'm in the middle of something. And when I get a call, all of a sudden I just lose my train of thought on what I was doing. So it's best to just be courteous and ask first before you click this call button. Okay, another thing I want to show you is if you go back up here to Family Networker. And how do you get people in a group when you've got a contact that you've been talking to on Facebook or you got someone new that you want to bring into a group that you're in? All you do is you click on the person's name with left click and drag them up into any of this blue area here. It doesn't matter where and you just drop them. Okay? What happens when you drop them I think a notice will come up down here going Nancy Radlinger just added Helen okay to the group and that's how you know also on if you got a group that you have not been active in and you want to leave that group you just click on here and you go back to the group and you click on here right click leave conversation and that will take you and it will say Nancy Radlinger left okay 
then you'll want to come back and go remove from your conversation list because you don't want that group listed in here anymore because it gets too confusing when you have too many. The other thing I want to show you that if in a group call and, and the conversation's going and you're just kind of reading and you want to answer a question maybe that someone has but you are busy so you just want to private message them instead of going back here and looking through all of these contacts what I do is I just click on their name that's a left click go down here send instant message and it takes me to his page right away now you can do this with anybody left click send instant message and you go right directly to their page and then you can type in whatever they want this is great if you see someone that has a question or something and you want to answer them back while it's on your mind and I do this quite often because I do watch the chat rooms even though I'm busy okay the other thing that you want to do is because I know these rooms can get real active and the noise I know drives people nuts as far as whatever sound you've got going bloop 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 okay then what you do is you go up to tools you go to options sounds and this is why you're hearing all of those bloop bloop bloops okay what happens is all of these are highlighted when you first get Skype now the only thing I want you can click here and that'll mute them all that's the easy way but I don't want everything muted okay when I'm getting connecting call I want to hear this sound okay because if I'm in another room having a cup of coffee or getting me something to eat and I got a call then I can run in here and answer my call so this is I leave this one and this one clicked and the rest of them I have unclicked okay then you just hit save and you're done with that one now with all the viruses that have been going around Skype here lately with the picture um, they have a link in here and it says you know you need to open they're sharing a link with you I don't usually open a link unless I know for sure I'm talking to the person most of the time they're picture files if I'm talking to the person and they're saying I'm sending you a file then I will open it because I know it's from that person and the reason I'm saying that is because these viruses when a person gets hacked it will say um, like I'll use Stefan for example Stefan sent you a file and maybe he got hacked and he really did not send you this file because this has happened to two or three people in our group now and you click on it thinking okay I know this person so I'm going to click on it well then what happens is all your contacts are gone and once they're gone they're gone okay the way I do to hopefully keep this so it doesn't happen I mean if it does because it does like I said it does happen you go to contacts advance and you back up your contact list and I back up my contact list to a document file so that I have them on my computer in case this ever does happen I think that's about everything I wanted to cover if you've got any more questions just contact me you know my ID um, just put me in and add me as a friend and we'll be chatting with you later thanks and have a good day